Hello everyone. In this video, we are starting exercise six, uh, three point three. And the first question we have to solve these linear pair of equation by substitution method. These methods are basically algebraic in nature. And how to solve graphically, we have already discussed. So let's find the value of x and y using substitution method. For substitution method, what I have to do is you have to take any of the equation and you have to find the value of any one variable and you have to sub substitute the value of that variable into the next equation. So this is first equation, this is second equation. What I am doing is I am finding the value of x in the first equation, which is x minus. 40. Uh, sorry, x is equal to 40 minus 5. We are uh, I'm, uh, shifting this y to that side. So this is equation third. After that, what I have to do is we have to substitute the value of this in equation second. Okay, substitute. So this is 4. So minus minus is plus. So this is minus 2y. This is 14. This is 4. Uh, we know that how to solve this kind of linear equation. You have to shift all the constant on one side and all the variables on another side. So I am shifting this variable to that side and this constant to that side. So the sign will be changed. This positive will become negative and this negative will become positive. So 14 minus 4 is 10. This is 2y, so the value of y must be equal to 5, dividing both sides by 2. So we know that the value of y is 5. We can uh, substitute the value of y in equation number this third to find the value of x. So the value of y is 5, so 40 minus 5 is 9. So the value of x must be equal to 9. And the value of y must be 5. So these are the value of x and y. And this is the method called substitution method to solve these kind of equations. Now solve, let's solve the second part. First of all, the second equation is in fraction form. So first of all, shift or you can say convert it in simple form. For that, we are taking the LCM, which is 6. And this 2 when multiplied by that side will give to s plus 3t because this multiplied by this is basically equal to 6 and 2s plus 3t is basically equal to 36 after that we are cross multiplying it so our first equation is this second equation is this okay first of all I have to find the value of s which is 3 plus t this is equation third and after that you have to sub substitute the value of s in equation second okay I am writing or you can say I am substituting the value of s as 3 plus t and the remaining equation will be remain as it is okay now you have to solve this equation for that you have to open the bracket first so this is 6 plus 2t because this should be multiplied with both the terms. This multiplied by this is 6 and this multiplied by this is 2t. After that, this is 3t, this is 36. So 2t plus 3t is 5t plus 6 equals to 36. After that, again you have to shift this constant term to that side. So this is 5t, 36 minus 6 which is 30. So the value of t must be equals to 30 divided by 5 which is 6 so the value of p here is 6 so similarly you can substitute the value of t as 6 in this equation so 
the value of s will become 3 plus 6 equals to 9. So in this case, the value of first variable is 9 and the value of second variable is 6. So this is how you can solve these kind of questions. Thank you.